Hey guys, welcome to part 3.1, I guess, uh, of my Fire Mage guides for 10.25. Uh, this part's going to be split into two. One of them is going to be Alexstrasza's Fury, one of them isn't. This one is no Alexstrasza's Fury. So I'm going to cover, just like a talk over a, a gameplay run of this dummy test. This is by no means like a perfect pull or anything like that. In fact, I kind of let myself make a few mistakes and kind of do a bit of YOLO stuff just to show you guys different scenarios. So yeah, just to showcase again, no Alex has a fury. But yeah, let's get into it. So like I said earlier, my opener, even with no Alex has a fury, is just Pyro into Phoenix Flames. This is technically not optimal, but you're losing like 10k damage or 20k damage or something to make your life easier. Because as soon as you press Phoenix Flames, you're gonna be on GCD, which gives you time to double lust. It gives you time for your spells to fly if you're not in melee range of the target, which most of the time you're not, because otherwise you would have ninja pulled the boss. Um, so then you can realize what heating up status you have, right? If you do like a pyro into like a fireball, which is a usual optimal pull, like your fireball, especially if you double lust, is gonna be so fast that you will not have time to react to your pyro hitting. Right? So you won't know whether you should be fire blasting or not, which is why I like to do the Phoenix Limbs. Unfortunately, none of them crit here. I'm also going for a Bellarolos as well. None of them crit, so I'm going to fireball and I'm going to combust at the end of this. And because none of them crit, I'm going to have to fireball again, right? I could fire blast twice during this fireball, but I would have had to press the fire blast the first one within the first like 0.2 seconds or something. Um, I guess I could have fire blasted once in the fireball cast towards the end and then fireball pyro pyro i guess but then it's like if the phoenix slimes crit then i'm wasting heating up and the pyro crit that is um i don't know this is just seems to make sense to me at least i'm gonna fireball twice i be pyro pyro and at this point it's double lust so gameplay very very simple you're just gonna spam fireball i be pyro pyro I have a little thing here that tracks my my spell casts by the way. So you're just gonna see me fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. Fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. This is my IB charges in the middle by the way, the blue bars. Fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. Pyro, IB, pyro, pyro. Fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. Fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. Sometimes I'll do like IB, fireball, pyro. It doesn't matter, right? It's the same thing. Pyro, pyro. I IB one more time because I can fit it. See, it's guaranteed crit. So I'm at seven stacks now, so I'm just gonna fireball. I'm just gonna fireball. See, I'm not I being. Why? Because if I crit like this, then I get to keep my IB charge for combust. But if I use the IB charge, then I won't have it for combust. Bad. We want all our IB charges for combust if possible. So you see, I got the crit anyway. Now I can IB, and now I have it for my combust. Fireball IB pyro pyro. Fireball IB pyro pyro. Fireball IB pyro pyro. Now, if you notice something, I have not Phoenix Flames at all, even though I'm not playing on Lexus's Fury. You're supposed to normally press Phoenix Flames in Combust. Why am I not? Simply put, uh, I have a lot of fucking haste. A lot of haste. Haste does not reduce the global cooldown below 0 0.75. Instant casts cannot go below 0 0.75 seconds. That means that any haste above 100% haste does not benefit or does not scale instant cast spells at all. However, because fireball is longer than the GCD baseline, that means it does keep scaling with haste. The result is that at double lust speeds, fireball does more damage than a phoenix flames, given the time that it takes to cast it relative to a phoenix flames. So you just don't phoenix flames at all in double lust. Fireball, I be pyro pyro. So obviously I didn't get a crit, right? Because I'm on combust. So I'm just going to fireball, fireball. I'm going to IB pyro before my GCD is ready. You see here, my spells have already landed. My GCD is not ready yet, you can tell here. So now I know I can go into an SKB here, right? The thing is though, I have shifting power and I don't have any IB charges. So this is a great time to shifting power. I'm going to IB one time so I don't overcap because I know I'm going to have to. And then I probably end up overcapping like just a little bit of a charge. Let's see. I go from like 0.7 here. Like I go from um, like 1.5 of a charge remaining or 1.5 seconds of a charge remaining. So I'm getting like 0 0.6 charges per tick of shifting power here. So this second tick, this last tick I mean, is probably giving me like 
an extra 0.1 that I'm wasting or something, it's fine. Because if I IB there, then I'm going to get a hot streak and waste an SKB stack, which is what we don't want to do. Pyro, Pyro. Fireball. Oh, I didn't get to fit that fireball. I'm just going to IB Pyro there. PF Pyro. Here I have two options. I have two spells I can fit in, right? You can see here I can fit, a, my record is telling me I can fit two spells, a Scorch and a Pyro. So I have a few options. I can IB Pyro, IB Pyro, two GCDs. Or I can PF Pyro, that's two GCDs. Or I can Scorch Pyro. Or my Flame Accelerant is about to be ready, as I can tell from this week right here. So I'm probably going to go for a Fireball Pyro here. Yep, Fireball Pyro. Pyro again. I'm going to start casting my Fireball here, right? Why do I cast Fireball here? I mean, obviously, because you have nothing else to do, but this is what's important. My Combustion is in 1.5 seconds cooldown, and my Fireball has one second cast remaining. You're like, oh, this Combustion is not going to hit. Remember, I have Fire Blast charges. They will be going into my Combust, right? But if I press a Fire Blast right now, even though it's out of Combust, it's still contributing to my Combustion Pyros, which is what really matters. And Fire Blast reduces the cooldown of Combust thanks to Kindling. So if I press Fire Blast right now, my Combustion is going to be 0.6 second cooldown. You see? And my Combustion comes up 3.3 seconds before Fireball ends, so then I can Fireball Pyro Pyro. Now I can part hard cast Pyro because I have 8 SKB stacks. Pyro Pyro. Here, I have a few options, right? I have 1.7 seconds left on my Flame Accelerant, so I can PF Pyro or I can Scorch IB Pyro Pyro. Because I have my force set active, so I want to get my stronger spells out first, right? Because these are amplifying my damage, the fourth piece. So I'm going to opt to go here for the Phoenix Line Pyro, hopefully. Yep. After the Phoenix Line Pyro is done, now I have Flame Accelerant. So now I can fit in Fireball, IB, Pyro, Pyro. And now my four piece is done. So now I can go for the another Phoenix Flames. Or I could have gone for a Scorch, IB, Pyro, Pyro. And then the Phoenix Lamp. It doesn't matter because between now and two seconds from now, nothing's going to happen. So both are fine. Scorch, IB, Pyro, Pyro. I hit eight stacks, so I'm going to hard cast. IB, Pyro, Pyro. Now notice a few things. I'm delaying my IB here till my Field of Burn is almost over, right? Technically, this isn't really necessary, but I'm not clutching it like 0 0.001 seconds. So it's not too dangerous, but it's good practice. Pyro Pyro. I finished the IB Pyro Pyro. Then I'm going to do a Fireball IB Pyro Pyro because I had Flame Accelerant. And then IB Pyro, right? Finishing off the SKB. I couldn't fit anything else there because we know my sequences from my previous part of the video. Now you might ask, well, Forgy, why is it that you're doing IB Pyro Pyro instead of here going for a Fireball Pyro Pyro? You have Flame Accelerant. Don't you want to put it on cooldown? Yes and no. Yes, it's a good practice to put it on cooldown, but is it practically doing anything? Because let's think about this. If I press Fireball here, Pyro Pyro, instead of doing the second Pyro following the Pyro Blast, right? Like, I did Hardcast Pyro, IB, Pyro Pyro. Technically, I could have done one Pyro and then Fireballed with the hot streak available, Pyro Pyro. What's the difference? If I did the Fireball, yes, I would put Flame Accelerant on cooldown earlier, but what's going to happen is that my Field of Burn is very likely to come close to dropping. It probably won't drop, but it'll come close. But it might be a little bit of a risk, right? But why even do that? Because in reality, what's going to happen is if I put Flame Accelerant on cooldown now, it's not going to give me an extra charge later. Because as soon as I finish this SKB, I'm going to cast Fireball again. I'm casting Fireball right now in four seconds, right? I'm going to start casting it in four seconds. So if I like show you, for example, if I just play it out, let's imagine my fireball was one second earlier, right? If I cast it like that one GCD earlier, would this suddenly, like I'm casting fireball here, I would have to do it anyway. So it doesn't actually make a difference, right? I would not be able to get this flame accelerant that's recharging now anyway. So putting it on cooldown doesn't actually make a difference. So keep it simple. Stick to the sequence that at least I'm used to. It's up to you. Let me rewind that. Fireball, okay. So I come out to this SKB with one IB charge left. I have heating up. Am I going to use my heating up now? No, I don't have to. Why would I, right? Because, I mean, I'm not in a rush. I'm not overcapping my charges. And my four, my two pieces pretty recently refreshed. So it's like if I dump all my IB charges early, 
and then spam fireball for like 20 seconds when I'm at seven stacks. Well, not 20 seconds, but like five, six seconds at 20 uh, at seven stacks. My two piece might drop off. So we don't need to. We can just fireball, fireball. Screw the field of burn. It doesn't matter. Notice I'm getting a lot of crits. Now I hit seven. I have a lot of IB charges. So now I can press IB because as soon as I press my IB, I mean, I get unlucky here that I'm forced to waste an escapee stack, but what can you do, right? You can't do anything about it with this build. When I'm starting to cast my my pyro, by the end of this pyro, I'm going to have enough IBs to do my SKB, no matter what kind of SKB it is. I'm going to IB to refresh field of burn, right? And then we're going to do a scorch, pyro, pyro. And then I'm going to do a, I did a PF there, and then I should IB pyro again. Let's rewind. So remember, GCDs, right? Think about your GCDs. So scorch, pyro, pyro. So now I have time for a scorch, IB, pyro, pyro. Or... I can go for a PF Pyro, IB Pyro. You cannot PF Pyro, Scorch Pyro. That will not fit. That's too many GCDs. Right? So I'm going to PF Pyro, IB Pyro. I have Flame Accelerant prior to using that IB, but it will not fit in Combust because we know how many GCDs fit in an SKB. That's why learning your SKB sequences or understanding what can fit and what doesn't is really, really important. It's the key to the spec, really. I come out, I fireball, I be pyro. You might say, well, why are you fireballing? Why are you I being now? You just told me like two minutes ago that you shouldn't do it. Well, here I know I have shifting power ready or about to be ready. So I'm okay going down to low charges. I'm gonna fireball, I be pyro again. And now I can shifting power. Now I can fireball, I be pyro. Now I'm at seven stacks, one second of combust and two IB charges. So I'm gonna fireball, I be pyro again. Why? Couple of factors. So the first factor is this one. This is a minor factor, I should say, but my two piece is almost out. If I drop my two piece for my combust is popped, that's kind of feels bad, right? Because you get the power as soon as you pop combust for 12 seconds Two, the really important part in really long combusts, your IB charge management isn't actually as important, isn't actually important or as important, I should say. There's a bit of like reasoning and this gets a little com bit complicated, but essentially the idea is that because combust is so long, you can stall by casting like solo scorches to regenerate IBs. And the most important part for your IB charges is that you're actually like finishing off combusts really well. In combusts, the big combusts, oftentimes you have to hard cast a pyro and then your combustion dies out in the middle of that pyro. Those one or two seconds of combust are wasted. If you had instead not cast IBs prior to that hard cast and cast scorches instead, you buy yourself more IB charges and more combustion in the long run. If you don't get that explanation, don't worry about it too much. Just kind of get a sense of the intuition about why. I'll try and show you a visual example of this. Anyway, I'm pyroing, combust IB pyro pyro, PF pyro, PF pyro. And now I have Flame Accelerant, so I'm going to Fireball IB Pyro Pyro. Right. Notice I have a lot of IBs charges. I'm not just throwing out my IBs willy-nilly, right? Like, if I rewind here, I have an IB charge. Why don't I just use it instead of my PFs here? I could, but what's the point? I'm not overcapping my charges. I'm not in a rush to use them. And if you want to make the argument of, oh, I have my four-piece active, so you want to get your damage out ASAP, well, let's look at how many IB charges I have when I finish my four piece. Well, would you look at that? Like I had one extra IB charge in the last 0 0.1 seconds, which didn't even matter because I'm pyroing anyway. You know what I mean? So I didn't actually lose anything. I'm gonna hard cast pyro, IB, pyro, pyro. Fireball, IB, pyro, pyro. Here I have time left for a scorch, IB, pyro, pyro. I know this because of my weak aura. It tells me two. This it shows a frost firebolt icon, which means I can do a full combo. So I'm gonna scorch IB Pyro Pyro there. I could have also Phoenix Flame Pyroed IB Pyroed there. That would have also been acceptable and probably the slightly better choice. Yeah, I didn't choose to do that. I Bellarolos as soon as my SKB my combustion is done. Now I'm fireballing. Now, like, look at this, right? My flame accelerant was almost done. This, you'd think this is a waste, 
but it's not because what other option do you have i can't actually do anything else right every other situation i would do would cause me to lose more damage most likely right maybe you can argue with how short it was like i could have done something weird but like there's no point don't complicate it at best it would have been equal just go for the fireball it's fine treat it as a passive so i'm just fireball spamming fireball spamming see i'm not pressing ib because i don't have to you can argue that you know maybe i should have pressed ib to refresh my four piece but because i fireballed so many times i know my crit chance is stacked up and i know i'm gonna crit like in any second now and whether that pyro crits or not is going to dictate whether I refresh or not, regardless of whether I B or not. I pyro, it doesn't crit, unfortunate. It's okay. I'm going to fireball, I B pyro. Cool. Go for an SKB, I B pyro pyro. Dropping your your two-piece stacks isn't as big of a deal when it's just an SKB, not a combust. Because four-piece does not proc from SKBs. Only your two-piece, only combustions. It's obviously not ideal, but yeah. Let me rewind a little bit here. Go on an SKB. So I'm going to IB, Pyro, Pyro. So normally, the remainder of this SKB would be Scorch, IB, Pyro, Pyro, IB, Pyro, right? Because this is a heating up combust. Here I want a Phoenix Lens. So instead of doing Scorch, IB, Pyro, Pyro, I'm going to do Phoenix Lens, Pyro, IB, Pyro, which is what I do. Phoenix Lens, Pyro, IB, Pyro. Now I have less than one GCD left. So I can only fit an instant gas spell. This is either an IB Pyro or a Phoenix Slime. I choose to go for the IB Pyro here because I can see that I have shifting power coming up, which means that if I don't use the IB, I might end up using too many IBs out of Combust instead. While holding on to Phoenix Slimes is not a big deal because I'm not going to cap my charges for very long, if at all, during the shifting power. So I'm just going to Fireball, Fireball, IB Pyro. Now I'm going to Shifting Power. And Combust is going to be ready pretty much here. Like I waste like five seconds maybe of my Phoenix Slimes throughout this. I'm going to IB Pyro. Eh, Phoenix Slimes capping a little bit. Probably not a big deal. I still think the IB in the Combust was probably the better call. But you can argue that maybe it wasn't. I'm going to go for the Combust here. Pyro Pyro. Phoenix Slimes. Pyro. IB Pyro. Phoenix Slime. Fireball. IB Pyro Pyro little bit of some weird stuff going on but overall nothing bad right i didn't waste any heating ups i'm not munching anything it's fine i be pyro pyro fireball because i have flame accelerant i be pyro pyro phoenix flame pyro my weak card tells me i can only fit a fire blast so i'm just gonna fire blast pyro if you want this weak card by the way it's very useful it's on my discord fireball pyro I'm not IBing here, right? Because I don't have to. And now see, I have enough IB charges for my SKB. Let's imagine I did IB instead. Let's imagine right here, I IB Pyro. That's minus one IB, right? If I IB Pyro there, I would be one less IB charge. So now, instead of having two IB charges for my SKB, I would have one less, which means that I would run out for this SKB. I would not have had enough, or maybe barely enough. That's why you want to manage your IBs. Same thing here. It's fine to let your um, field of burn die. I go into the shifting power. Remember, don't waste your IBs. Fireball, IB, Pyro. This is now an interesting point. I've combusted in 5 seconds and SKB is ready. What do I do? Now, if I go into my SKB straight away, I cannot combust. right? If I combust, it will remove my SKB like the remaining combustion duration from the SKB. So, if I SKB and I don't combust, I'm going to waste a lot of combustion CDR though. Instead, what I choose to do is to just fireball once, and then that buys me enough time for me to pyro into double IB with kindling to reduce combustion's cooldown. If my fireball had crit, then it would have been a little more sketchy, because then I wouldn't be able to double IB. But in that situation, I probably would have fireballed again. A second time but because this happened i can just double ib into the combust and i get that 17 second combustion or 18 seconds at this point just you know playing the game the same way i've been playing it the rest of the fight or earlier in the fight ib pyro pyro 
Pyroball, IB, Pyro, Pyro. Nothing crazy, right? Phoenix M Pyro, IB Pyro. Once again, really important to take stock of what your situation is and how many GCDs you have left in your combust, specifically at the end. My weak aura tells me I have I can do a full combo, which is Scorch, IB, Pyro, Pyro. Instead, I have a Phoenix Slime, so I'm going to do the Phoenix Slime version, which is Phoenix Slime, Pyro, IB, Pyro. Phoenix Slime, Pyro, IB, Pyro. Boom. Perfect. Solar Maelstrom after my combustion is done. Use up my IB there. Maybe I shouldn't have. I was kind of worried about my two-piece. Yeah, I chose to let it die here instead. Because remember, we're not doing a combustion, so it's okay. Most important thing is to have enough IB charges to do your SKB. Imagine if I had one less IB charge there. Then I wouldn't be able to have done that SKB, right? Because I wouldn't have this final charge. Fireball IB Pyro Pyro. Oh, I'm not on Combust, so it wouldn't Pyro Pyro. Lifting Power. Yeah. Nothing crazy, right? Pyro Pyro, Phoenix on Pyro, Scorch IB, Pyro Pyro. Yep, pretty basic stuff. The same as what I've been doing earlier. Here I do that weird thing where I interrupt the Pyro Pyro to do a. like a. to do it earlier. So, I'm just gonna mention this really quickly. I might regret mentioning this because it might mislead people. Right here. I start casting a Phoenix Slime, or sorry, a Fireball, and you'll see that Flame Accelerant procs right at the end of the Fireball. That's why it hits for 125k. The interesting thing about Flame Accelerant is that if Flame Accelerant finishes its timer during a Fireball cast, the damage will still buff that Fireball. The cast time won't be there, but the damage will be there. The cast time reduction will be there, sorry, obviously, because it won't update dynamically somehow. Um, but the damage will still apply. You don't really play around this, like I said, treat it as a passive. Sometimes, if you consume a fresh flame accelerant within like 0.1 seconds of it being applied, that's not the actual way it works, but this is just an approximation for simplicity. Um, your flame accelerant will just reproc. As you can see here, I already used the flame accelerant because my fireball hit 125k, and I still have it again. This is because the bug occurred. Do not play around this bug. I have spent months trying to figure out how to replicate this bug, playing around it, making consistent ways to play around it. I even have a special week where I made to play around it. It's not good to play around it, especially without Alexa's Fury. If you mess up a single time, you will lose tons of damage. And in fact, casting fireballs that get buffed by Flame Accelerant, but not by the like the cast time reduction is not good. The cast time reduction is really, really important. It's actually like equally as important. So you're losing half the value when you're doing that. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, do not play around this bug. I know it's tempting. It's misleading. It seems like you'd want to do it. It's not worth it. Trust me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this commentary. I'll see you in the next one for Alex Draz's Fury. Peace.